Hello traders. In this video, we'll cover what we're anticipating for the week ahead. While defensive stocks are in favor with consumer staples, healthcare, and utilities outperforming, and some of the big banks like JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley, and Goldman Sachs looking set to follow through this week. Last week, we left off with the markets flat and defensive stocks catching a bid, particularly consumer staples and healthcare. Big banks also reported better than anticipated earnings and followed through, while we have mixed signals for the week ahead. We have two bullish with the majority neutral at 14 and bearish with four. We're looking for range bound action that dominated last week to open up to increased volatility as big tech starts their reporting. Here are the S&P 500 sectors ranked by performance. We can see that consumer staples, utilities, energy, and healthcare dominate the top four with banks performing better than expected with new positions in Morgan Stanley and Goldman Sachs as they transition back above their 250-day moving averages, along with JP Morgan, all of them reporting earnings that relieves investors' anxiety with deposits growing instead of dropping as many were anticipating, with much of that money going into Morgan Stanley and JP Morgan. That said, the major focus going into earnings this week were that consumer staples, utilities, and healthcare were outperforming the defensive sectors with consumer staples gapping up on Friday, with many stocks from the consumer staples group moving higher last week, like Procter & Gamble, on above average volume, with additional stocks from the group like Clorox, Colgate, Kimberly-Clark, Kroger moving higher as institutions position more defensively. The S&P 500 remained in a tight range last week between 4,100 and 4,160, 4,170, with several doji days and VIX at the lows. We expect that to change this week with tech earnings and for a move either back up to 4,200 or a test of the 21-day in the short term. With tech earnings and potential moves in the queues, having already tested its 21 day, if we do pull back, the 50 day would be the likely target. If we stay in this range and we get better than expected reports out of big tech, we could see a retest of last week's high. For now, we're cautionary while waiting for the small caps to either get back above the 200 day or get rejected there in the weeks ahead being the only major index that closed green on the week, with uh, breath deteriorating from Monday through Friday. We're back to the zero line on advanced decline percent, so we could bounce here or continue to fade. If we did get back to minus 30%, that would be an area we'd be looking for a bounce, as well as the zero line, so it all depends on big tech earnings this week. While the McClellan Oscillator for the NIMO and the NAMO continue this upward trek, it does look like we're starting to peak a little bit. Maybe this turns over. We'll see. We did close below the zero line for the week with NIMO at minus 3.94. Yet another reason to be cautious until we start Monday and Tuesday trading. Now that OPEX is out of the way, uh, many are anticipating VIX will bounce currently at the levels where we started the bear market back in 2022. We're looking for this spring to bolt higher. It's been pushed down for a number of weeks as it drifted lower into April. So we're looking for a resolution here, most likely to the upside. I can't imagine it's going to stay down here much longer. Unless, of course, big tech earnings surprise. 
Growth and value stocks are still doing fairly well. They're above a bullish 21 EMA. Growth in the top panel, watching for tech to continue. We did see uh, strength in biotechs as well last week. So this is something we'd be looking for a resolution, either higher above the 200 day or rejection with biotechs, small caps, and Bitcoin stocks risk on at the present time, we could see a push higher along with debt, which we can see the zero to five year high yield corporate bond ETF SHYG continues to stay above the 9, 21 and 50 day, 200 days down below. If this does break higher, that's a sign of risk on as well. For now, we've been in a range for the last couple of weeks, but we still remain above those key moving averages. So at present, as previously mentioned, most of our indicators are neutral. So with junk bonds and high yield corporate moving sideways, we do have some strength in biotechs. IWM is moving sideways. Bitcoin pulled back a bit. And the New York Stock Exchange Advanced Decline is moving sideways. It did dip below the 200-day moving average on Friday. So all of this tells us to be neutral, cautious, and wait for institutions to tell us what to do going forward. We'll be looking for bonds to give us direction as well. We can see that yields and bonds on the 10-year continue to move sideways. That is neutral, as we can see with the 10-year yield as well. My expectation is the 10-year is going to continue rising and that tech is going to disappoint. So planning for the worst, hoping for the best. One of the caveats the bulls and the bears are dealing with, of course, is the U.S. dollar continues to hover down here near the lows. A move lower would be good for commodities, and a move higher would be bearish for commodities. With gold moving sideways for the week, peaking on the previous Friday, along with silver and material stocks like freeport MacMoran gapping down, while Newmont Mining continued a fade that started a couple of weeks ago. Crude oil and gasoline prices did fade, and natural gas has been bottoming, so there's not much to see here if you're bullish commodities. So if you're looking for places to put money to work, I would say Consumer Staples is a safe place, along with healthcare and utilities. With a nice mix of earnings this week, we are looking for those consumer staples, healthcare, and defensives to continue seeing accumulation by institutions. At the same time, some of the stocks in the building and construction related industry groups continue these bullish trends. Aon saw its revenue grow nearly 90% in the last report. They report again in May, first week of May manufactures air conditioning and expensive rooftop units. Stock is still in a bullish trend and we do have lots of volume showing institutions have been active. Amphistar Pharmaceuticals, fairly inexpensive stock in the healthcare group, also moving higher, defensive. Most of those have been trending since January, along with other stocks like AbV and Eli Lilly, suggesting institutions continue accumulating shares in the pharmaceutical sector. While some of the retail stocks, Crocs Retail, I know Susie and a couple of others are in Crocs, continues this bullish performance. DraftKings and sports betting, this one's about to break out on the weekly time frame. 382 or the $30 level is our first level targets with the company reporting again on May the 4th and revenue growing at 80.7% on a year-over-year -year basis. Looking for DraftKings to continue this week. Stocks in the hotel group, Hyatt showing signs of a break above this four-day range. We had Marriott and Hilton as potential trades. I do have shares in Hilton. Looking for those to move higher along with Las Vegas Sands and Wynn. In the casino group, HubSpot also looks pretty good. I know a couple of you are in this one. 
Inspire Medical, another healthcare related name breaking out of a nice flag. Volume picking up. Lulu, after earnings, continues to forge a path higher. Lanthius Health, I think there's a couple of you in this one as well. With Lanthius reporting again on May the 4th, the company revenue grew 103% on a year over year basis, beating earnings by 40 cents. Another healthcare related pharmaceutical name, Diagnostics Leader and targeted therapeutics. Using nothing less than artificial intelligence to fight, find, and follow serious medical conditions. The fact that AI is even mentioned, I'd expect to see more and more companies talking about that in the short term. Additional stocks that look ready to break out. Salesforce, looking for a push off of the 21-day moving average. Shockwave and many of the AI assisted and robotics related names like Intuitive Surgical, Shockwave, all of those pushing higher, while medical and healthcare stocks remain a focus of institutions as they position more defensively. Solar energy stocks also looking pretty strong, looking for a follow through, Solar Edge, Enphase, along with First Solar trending and in phase starting a series of higher lows looking for a retest of the 200 day as it builds the right side of a potential cup and handle pattern along with inexpensive stocks in the group sun power looking to turn and break this downtrend tested the 50 day last week looking for a break above you could see a 10 15 20 percent gain in the coming weeks if these solar stocks continue bid over the spring and summer construction months some stocks from the relative strength scan showing potential for follow-through boyd gaming in the casino space seeing a lot of action uh, we also had identified international gaming technology last week some of you took this it broke out on friday trying to follow through along with individual casinos like Las Vegas Sands, which really shocked investors with a revenue growth reported of 124% year over year, beating expectations, earnings of 28 cents versus 17 cents, beating by 11 cents by a wide margin, looking for a Las Vegas Sands and win, along with many of the casinos to follow through during the spring and summer months, as travel and leisure stocks like hotels and casinos see increasing reservations and bookings into the spring. As travel and leisure stocks continue to see a bid, bookings.com beating recently by nearly $4 per share. Revenue grew 35.8% on a year-over-year -year basis, beating all expectations for slower expenditures in this consumer discretionary space where everyone's saying the consumer is tapped out, obviously showing that's not the case. Additional stocks in the relative strength scan, which could follow through. You may want to pause your video. Many of these following through snap-on tools, big bolts higher with snap-on tools in the construction industry group breaking out last week, along with stocks like UFPT, which has exposure to aerospace and automotive sectors, breaking out of a nice flag. You can see the larger base that we're looking at here and the 9 and 21 day, how they quickly started to move up and to the right as the company revenue grows at 61.9% on a year-over-year -year basis beating recent earnings in its recent report and reporting again in the first week of June. Okay, traders, that's going to do it for me. This is Cousin Vinny coming to you from theclosingprint.com with your weekend video newsletter for April the 23rd. Watching for these stocks to follow through, knowing that we do have tech earnings, we are a bit cautious, and looking for institutions to tell us what they're anticipating so that we can follow their lead this week. I'll send out a watch list later tonight around 12 o'clock midnight on the East Coast, around 9 o'clock on the West Coast, so be sure to check your inbox for that. 
Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Take care, and we'll see you in the morning. Ciao.